God damn, wrong button again. All right, all right, Sakura, I'm still your friend. <laughs> just don't hurt me, okay? I'm not sure I'm ready to open up just yet. Maybe if you create the right opportunity. All right, I'll spend some time with Sakura. I see. Even if I don't feel like talking, you'll still stand by me. <laughs> I still don't understand you, Makoto. I don't know. Friends are what friends are for, right? Without saying a word, I stood by Sakura. Sakura and I grew a little closer together. Okay, present. What would she like? I don't know, maybe mineral water so that she gave more energized. Coca-Cola, I feel like she's definitely not gonna like that. Like a sun food. As long as these have nutrients, I'm pretty sure they're fine. I'm pretty sure Donut doesn't have enough nutrients or, or protein or something, so that's not gonna work. Plus, I'm definitely saving that for, um... Oh, without a doubt. Sunflower seeds? Hmm. I guess she could pretend to be like one of those like Western smokers or something, but who knows. <laughs> Should I even dare giving her a love status ring? Oh, uh, that seems like a... Uh... Oh, this looks fancy. It kind of reminds me of like a... Uh... One of those like modern... Not modern, like classic Japanese rooms where like... You know, like those like classic Japanese rooms where it's like the samurai way or whatever. Like, feels like it would fit her definitely. Uh, Max Gloves. Max Gloves. A pair of boxing gloves infused with a staggering amount of passion and effort. Wearing them makes you want to throw a thousand cross counters. That could work. A uh, G-Stick. <laughs> a hand bra. A bra designed to slip over your hands. It's slogan. Raise your hands, raise your spirits. Uh, okay. I have no idea who the fuck else would like this other than Kafumi. Scissors. What does this say? Adoring reaction collection? Ooh, excuse me, sorry. Cherry Blossom? Because her name's Sakura? Would she appreciate that or would she find that more insulting, if anything? I don't know. Azan Tetsuken Muramasa. Okay. Mm. I feel like uh, Celeste would definitely love this. Too bad she's dead, so. That's an airplane? Why the fuck does the airplane's head look phallic as fuck? It looks like it's been circumcised or something. Asura's tears? Uh, that could be something, right? maybe. Uh, the fun plane. No, she definitely wouldn't like that. Bojobdo dolls. A novelist fountain pen. That's a fountain pen? God. Cat dog magazine. Meteorite arrowhead. Chin drill. Green costume. Red costume. What the fuck are these costumes for, anyways? Uh, and I'm guessing the rest of the bottom is just, um, school stuff, so. Okay. Out of consideration, I don't think she's gonna be offended if I give her a cherry blossom bouquet. So I'm gonna give that to her. Mm. I'll accept it with gratitude. So then. I'll never forget this, Makoto. I got the impression that she liked it. That's good. Alright, so she didn't find that offensive at all. What? No information? Not even a skill point, really? Well, shit, that was a waste of time. Like, how many times have I. Oops, no, not regulations. Fuck that. I already know the regulations. Report card Sakura. Where's Sakura? I got only two. She didn't give me anything else aside. And not only that, hmm. What about Aoi? Three! So what the fuck? <sighs> okay, I guess I'm hanging out with Aoi next. Oh shit, everyone's on the first floor now. Let's go to the dining hall and talk to uh, Aoi then. I know there are other plenty of options, but considering how uh, Kyoko's not doing anything to help me, I'm not gonna bother with her, so... Plus, I want a guaranteed way to... Sorry. Listen, I'm really sorry, but I kinda wanna be alone right now. Aww. I got a lot of... I need to think about. Damn it, okay. Can I talk to Sakura again, or is she... I'm sorry. I appreciate the thought, but I like to be alone right now. Okay, so these two are not an option anymore. 
I could probably hang out with them later, assuming they don't die in the, in this chapter. Uh, where else to now? I guess I want to try Yasuhiro again, or I can go to the dressing room. This is a that's a laundry room, I think. And maybe patch things up with a uh, Kyoko. Are you still uh, mad at me? Go away. Look at me, I guess she doesn't even want to see my face. Uh, she really doesn't trust me after all that. Please, Kyoko, come on! At least give me a chance to redeem myself! Uh, all my friends, and I, can't, and I can't hang out with them at all. Fine, Yasuhiro, I mean... Hopefully we can settle our differences after my huge fuck-up. Uh, it doesn't even tell you where Yasuhiro is, though, unfortunately. Yasuhiro, there you are. You wanna hang out, dude? To the spirits. I had a dream last night. I saw the spirit world was going to flood us with energy and save us from the school's nightmare. That? It's a prophecy! Take heart, my man! Uh, why the fuck not? <laughs> you know? Oh, I got something I wanted to show you. I got this thing. Oh, on my back. It's okay. Hey, yeah. So I gotta make sure I don't fuck up this time, huh? Hero showed me a scar on his back, though I didn't really get what it meant. Uh, okay. All right then. What should I give him? Uh, rose of tea. I don't know. Would that help with the spiritual guidance of whatever or something? I don't fucking know. Uh, donuts. Oh, what the fuck is he gonna look like? I have no clue as to what anything like. I guess anything spiritual or something. Weapons probably won't not work. Old timey radio. What do you enjoy that? Will you enjoy a fucking old timey radio or not? Will you enjoy a hand bra or a sir's tears? Maybe those the flesh like the golden flesh like who knows? Uh, I have no information. You know, I'm just gonna give you a random item or something. Super Robo Justice? No, I'm not that great. Oh, I know. Oops. It was our. Okay. Maybe the costumes. I don't know. Maybe he'll like the costume. What color does he like, usually? Ugh. Cat Dog Magazine? I also have to make sure I don't offend him either. Small light. Hmm. I wonder how much I could get with the pawn shop. <laughs> kidding, kidding. I appreciate it, really. Uh. I feel like he didn't like that one, though. And he's not gonna get me- Oh my god, really? You guys are useless! Uh, well, that was a waste of a free time. Didn't gain any attributes. Uh, <clears throat> As such, soon the door- Okay, then. It is nighttime and shit. Nighttime already. Tonight feels somehow uneasy. We still haven't settled things with Sakura. Everyone's in a terrible mood. I just hope nothing happens tonight. Cause tonight, tonight, there's a party on top of the top of the world tonight. <laughs> After I decide to offer to become a shrimp, the tech support lady just refused to drop the issue. Once the shrimp idea was dead, she came back suggesting I should become a crab instead. How much can one person love crustaceans? I said no, of course, and she shot back. Okay, then how about you make an extra special? You can be a crab that walks sideways and backwards. But how is that any better? I don't want to go sideways or backwards, I want to go forward. I heard her annoying sigh on the other hand of the line as she said, You just don't see the splendor of the crab. Haven't you ever heard of the tale of the crab and the monkey? Of course I've heard of it. I know all about it, but so what? The crab beats a monkey, but it's some legend hardly relevant to go to our great obsessed side of society. Sure, monkeys still show up in the movies and stuff from time to time, but not crabs! Monkey-themed clothes are sweeping the nation around the world, but the crab doesn't stand a chance, right? What am I saying? Crabs have no place in today's life speed world! Do the market research, lady! Which is why I choose to obey your popular bear image! That's the okay. <laughs> Didn't we learn about this origin of the Monokuma, even though, whatever. Uh, free time? More story. Good morning, everyone! Get ready! Alright, no one died yet. I need to do something about Sakura. 
if I go to the dining hall, I'll attack to the others one more time, so... No free time then, basically. Ugh, damn. ooh -ah? Huh? Was that someone screaming? I think it came from the dining hall. Oh no! How could this happen? Ah, uh, we got a big problem, man. What's wrong? Uh, <laughs> Look. Someone dead? Akita. Oh, you bet you. Are you okay? What happened? She, she killed her. Genocide Jill killed Hina. Well, she looks very alive to me, but. You gotta be kidding! No, 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 no! She's not dead. Open your eyes. No way, she's dead. Well, why? What happened? Uh... Well, Togo and Hina just all of a sudden they were yelling, and then they knocked the pepper out of the table, and that led to a sneeze. I'm just being fucking irritated by this bitch right now, like... What's the point of her? It seems like her only goal in this entire fucking game is to annoy the shit out of me. Uh, um... What the fuck is so appealing about Toko, anyways? <laughs> she is easily the worst fucking character I have ever encountered in any video game. Haste out of the room as she carried Hina away. Top of assault as well. Oh my god, I swear to god, if Hina dies in this chapter. I stress I don't cloud my judgment, I know too. The game's the game wants me to fucking blame on Toko on the shit. Uh, finally regain her composure. Just a scratch. <laughs> well, yeah, a thousand thanks to you, sir. You okay? Oh, we... Hey, Hina, what the heck happened? Oh, um, we just got into a fight. I lost my temper and flew off the hand. Let me guess. The fight was because of Sakura. Good. At first, I tried to just ignore it. If you let jerk buttholes get to you all the time, you'll never have the time to let left your to live your life. But she wouldn't let it go, so I just without thinking I felt like I wanted to punch her like a dozen times. Are you serious? Punch a dozen times isn't really without thinking. And when things got out of hand, Genocide Jack got let loose, right? Sorry. It's my own fault, but I just couldn't take it anymore. Because 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 she was saying all those terrible things about my friend, you know? Before I knew it, Hina's eyes started welling up with tears. And just as those tears were on the brink of spilling over... The door to the nurse's office burst open and I thought the door was gonna fly off the hinges. And there she stood before us. Hina! Hina! Sakura! You were hurt! What happened? Oh, then nothing. It's not a big deal. Makoto! Hero! What's the meaning of this? It wasn't me! It was just I chill! It's all the... Mented murderous fiend's fault! <laughs> to hurt Hina! Damn you! To leave me alone, but hurt! <sighs> How dare you! Yeah, if you can, kill fucking Toko, please! Uh, no forgiveness! I can't forgive this! <laughs> Hero! If you want to hate someone, hate me! If you want to hurt someone, will hurt me! What? what? I can't for- uh, uh. Yep, shit's about to go real for now. What's going on? What's all this noise about? Kyoko stood into the doorway to the nurse's office, taking Hero's spot in the room. It would seem... I gather something happened. Kyoko, please, you have to stop Sakura! Wait. You don't need to stop me. I'm okay. I'm not going to do anything, I just... 
I'm drawing a line right here and now. Drawing a line? Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, wait, Sakura! Hina sprang into action, leaving the nurse's office to chase after Sakura. The only ones left were... Are you still gonna talk to me? Are you still mad? Yeah, I figured. That's fine. Huh? Whew. About that issue we discussed earlier. It doesn't matter anymore. Then, do you forgive me for not being able to talk about it? In other words... You could have told me about Sakura and Monokuma fighting, but you stayed quiet. You were only thinking of Sakura, and that's why you didn't tell me, right? You didn't want to confuse everyone until you could talk to her and be sure of what you saw. That's what you were thinking, and that's why you didn't tell me, right? Yeah. <laughs> to think that. I wouldn't have expected, I wouldn't have expected such arrogance. I wouldn't have... Uh... Because... Because ultimately, that means you don't trust me. No, that's not it! But if that's how you feel, I can't really change your mind. I'm sorry. That's fine. It's fine. I've already forgotten about it. Besides, I... I may have overreacted. Huh? Anyway... Anyway, it's over and done with. Like I said, let's just forget about it. Okay, thank you. Alright. And about what happened? Hey. That issue we discussed doesn't matter anymore. Okay, what about this something else is? What is it you want to talk to me about? Indeed. Actually, I'd like you to come somewhere with me. I have business there. Where? So... Just come with me and you'll find out. Uh, I guess, but... Shall we go? Well then, shall we go? Okay then. She walked her head in silence, and in silence, I chased her. And eventually, we arrived. Back here. Okay. The dressing room. So the... <clears throat> something else you mentioned. Indeed. That's right. It has to do with Alter Ego. But you said we didn't need Alter Ego anymore. Wrong. I didn't say we need him. I just said he had, he had done his job. Besides, it's not us that needs Alter Ego. He has business with us. Huh? Right. Alter Ego asked me to bring others to come see him. Apparently he has something he wants to ask us. Alter Ego wants us to ask us something? Okay. Um. Hello. Oh, um, so it's just you two? Kyoko and Makoto? Is two not enough? No, it's okay. Two should be plenty. But what is it he wants to ask us? Indeed. Let's find us out, shall we? So, uh... Oh yeah, so... I'd like you to take me somewhere where you can connect me to the school network. What? What? Kyoko and I quickly glance at each other. Okay. Well, um... We said my job was done, right? But to just stop here? Saying I'm finished my work? But I don't want that. I, I want to keep being helpful for everyone. I want to work as hard as everyone else so that we can get all we all can get out of here. That's, right. that's why that's what Master would want too. So, to help everyone else, to solve the mystery of this school. That's right. The only way I can help is if you connect me to this school's network. But, but if you did that, that's basically suicide. I'm positive the mastermind would find out about it. They'd find you and they'd... You agree, right, Toyoko? No. I realize how dangerous it could be. But still, I have to do this. I'm scared, but I can handle it. I don't really understand why, but... When I think about everyone else, my courage starts to grow. You might think I'm just some inhumane AI, but it's true. So it's okay. If it's for the sake of everyone else, I won't be afraid help but get lost in that voice. It was just too committed. Too admirable. Too fragile. Hey. You remember what you asked before, Makoto? You asked what the difference is between a person and a program, right? Y yeah. Certainly. When I talk to Alter Ego, I don't know. I have no idea how to answer that question. I think maybe that's a question even the program's creator can't answer. But I can say this. Correct. There's no question that Alter Ego is our friend. Kyoko. I... To be honest, I didn't want Alter Ego to push himself anymore. Because if we take any more risks, the Mastermind really will notice it. But... Makoto. Let's do it, Makoto. Let's connect Alter Ego to the network. But... But... Hey. He's our friend. 
so I want to take his feelings into consideration. And he says that he wants to fight alongside his friends. Now, if... If you were in his place, could you just sit by and do nothing in this situation? If you saw everyone else fighting and doing their best, could you just look the other way? Or would you stand up? Stand up tall next to everyone else and tell them you're their friend. So, um... Hey, are you guys fighting? If it's about me, please don't. I want to believe in myself. I want to be able to say... I know I can do this. Leave it to me. So please, let me try. Listen. And besides, there's one place where the mastermind might not notice. One place? That's right. Remember? There's another place besides here where there's no surveillance camera. A room without surveillance camera. The music room definitely has it. The secret room. That's it! The secret room you told me about! I definitely remember there was no surveillance cameras in there. I And I do believe you can connect the network from there. I remember seeing an ethernet port on the wall. However... However, just because there's no camera there doesn't mean there's no danger. There's no way to be sure the mastermind isn't monitoring the network somehow. We'll also have to move Alter Ego. We also have to move Alter Ego and the mastermind may spot... We'll also have to move to Alter Ego and the mastermind may spot us going into the secret room. If they picked up... Uh, if they picked up on any of this, then it's all over. You're right. That's what we have to do. Despite all that, I still think we need to try. Correct. Because that's our best chance of finding any new clues. Kyoko. In that case, will you let me carry him? There's no way you could hide him with that you're wearing, right? So let me do it. It's true. It's okay, then. I'll leave it to you. Thank you. So then... Then, let's get started. It's gonna be a little cramped for us, Alter Ego. Bear with us, okay? We started picking up right away. I closed the laptop and stuffed it underneath my jacket. <laughs> Tickles! How are you able to feel that? Shh! You can't talk right now! We're going to move you to another room until we get there. You have to be absolutely silent, okay? Whatever happens, it's gonna happen in the next episode of Danganronpa. Stay tuned for the next episode!